Today we're celebrating um, the cardiovascular summit that we hold here in Naples every year now. It's an exciting one and a half day educational forum for our partners in our community. Cardiology and cardiac surgery are disciplines that are changing every day and updating our colleagues on the latest trials, data, best practices is very important to improving the care for our patients with cardiovascular disease. Patients with cardiovascular disease have obviously have become much more complex. We oftentimes work uh, in multidisciplinary teams, particularly for structural heart, and that allows us to come up with unique treatment options for every single patient that's individualized and personalized. And so we rely very much on a team-based approach, and that team does include our primary care physicians into that conversation. We're going to talk briefly about the principles of AFib treatment, uh, rate and rhythm control, cardioembolic stroke prophylaxis. I think primary care doctors are generally overwhelmed with all the things that they have to do and have to handle, and, and it's a question of what takes priority. And I think that these presentations today uh, indicated that so many cardiac conditions uh, do require expert consultation. And so getting them in and, and into, a, into a situation where there are collegial consultants who want to work with them and who want to help them to get the best results for their patients is really the, the optimal approach to take. Well, I've learned uh, the latest techniques, the latest advances, um, and the latest studies. So you can take this back to your patients uh, and show them uh, what's available and what are the, uh, the new techniques and uh, treatments out there. It feels like you have a glorified heart team and everyone is in the right place at the right time, having uh, very engaging discussions about the advances in uh, heart care. I learned a lot, I'm a cardiologist, but uh, in this day and a half, I learned about preventive care, women's heart, electrophysiology, things that I don't do on a daily basis. Uh, I can't even imagine how much the primary care physicians and APPs learn. I think it's basically um, create awareness of what we are able to do to make sure that uh, primary care physicians understand the high quality level of cardiovascular medicine that we can provide. And the resources are here. They don't have to fly to Boston, or New York, or Chicago. We can do a lot of that here. And we have uh, top-notch uh, physicians that are able to take care of these patients locally. As the third summit every year has gotten better, more organized, more tailored to primary care, and I'm just, I look forward to the future of this because every year I gain more and more knowledge and insight into the advances of cardiology, but also how I can better utilize the resources in the community for the betterment of my patients.